The Rower internment camp included a 500 acre um, area for internee living quarters and more than 10,000 acres of surrounding land for farming and timber harvesting. U.S. entry into World War II led to the forced removal of nearly 120,000 Japanese Americans from the West Coast and placed in uh, war relocation centers, really, internment camps. I am an American. Years of discrimination and the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor led to the forced removal and imprisonment of Japanese Americans. Why us? Why here? The relocation center sites were chosen because of their distance from the West Coast and for their suitability and isolation as secured closed camps. This is uh, some, a photo of the rower relocation camp. Japanese Americans um, usually only were given two weeks to uh, close their stores and sell all the merchandise. This is the site of the uh, former railroad that uh, ran right up to um, the Rower relocation camp. And uh, it's been paved over since then. But these, um, this railroad would bring the Japanese Americans right to the gates of the internment camp. Making a living. Internees tried to recreate a life they might have lived outside of confinement. There is an audio recording here and it's, um, it's uh, by George Taki because he was one of the Japanese Americans who was interned here at, at the Rowar war, war, uh, war relocation camp. Trying to make a home. Babies were born, children went to school, adults had jobs, and some people died here during the three years that the Rower camp operated. Some pictures of a school. And all of these are uh, the young uh, Japanese American students in school. Look back in time. This uh, camp was surrounded by a barbed wire fence linking eight guard towers with armed guards. And this area was part of the camp. Now, in the distance, one of the last remaining parts of the camp is the, I believe it was the hospital smokestack. And that's in the distance. And this is the Rower Cemetery, established in 1942. We lived and died here. Let's teach our children that even in a life such as this, our hearts do not despair that although we left behind many material things, we did not leave our courage, our fortitude, and our ability to do the best with the least. This is the Rower War Relocation Center. It was a uh, Japanese internment camp during World War II. And this is all that is uh, left of, um, of that camp. We're going to take a look. And this monument designates the uh, Rower Japanese American Relocation Center as a uh, National Historic Landmark. Courage. This is dedicated to the patriotic Japanese American men from Rower internment camp who sacrificed their lives in the service of their country in World War II. 
the U.S. 5th Army, 100th Battalion, 442nd Regiment. They served at Casino and Anzio in the Italian front. This monument in uh, Japanese script was erected by the inhabitants of Rower Relocation Center in October 1944 after the camp had closed and it became a uh, German POW camp at that point. This is another memorial in memory of our sons who sacrificed their lives in the service of their country. They fought for freedom, they died, that the world might have peace. And this also commemorates the Japanese who served in the 100th Battalion of the 442nd Regiment in Italy. These are the names of the Japanese Americans from this intern camp who served in uh, World War II in Italy. And these are some of the graves of Japanese Americans who, who died at um, the Rower internment camp, war relocation camp. Very sad, uh, three infants. <laughs> 